Probably time for a, an update, guys. It's been a little while since we've done a big update on homestead stuff. Um, it is rainy season right now. If I turn the camera around, well, it's we're in the middle. We're like a month, a month into the rainy season, and we've got this avocado tree. We're gonna have to do something with. Um, but at the base of it is, of course, our tree, which we did have to cut a little bit to put the. Um, we had to prune this area out, but the rest of it has grown already, like another two feet or so. Uh, so it's it's been a good year for that little thing. And then we have tons of grass this year, more than last year, which is awesome. We still have a walking path through the middle, and I just bought a bag of grass yesterday, which I'm gonna use to plant along the back. I'm gonna plant it everywhere. Um, we haven't had rain for two days. Uh, went and got the grass yesterday. It's supposed to rain tonight and for the next five or six nights. And then once, yeah, probably after tonight, probably tomorrow morning, I'm probably gonna plant grass seed and uh, get it padded down and uh, you know see how it works uh, but it's all coming in and the good thing is like the cats have been staying more here because they have all this tall grass to stay in we've got birds and things that are coming in so the cats are staying here more Smeagol and Frodo are still going out into the woods Lucas occasionally mostly to go to the bathroom and we have back there one group of chickens in here we have oh, in there we have uh, hens uh, this, they were getting beat up because we have too many roosters. We had too many roosters out of a batch. So there's like one, two, three, four. There's five roosters. They're all hiding back here in the back. Like, they're all pinned in there. And they're just waiting for Chris to have time to butcher them all. So she's been doing like one a week. Um, and she still has a few that she has to take care of. And then Paco is finally probably going to become a taco. Um, because we have Paco 2, if I can show you. Paco the second, Paco Jr. Looks just like his dad. That's him right there. He looks just like his dad. So Chris is probably gonna go ahead and get rid of Paco uh, because um, he's two years old now, but he's so big and fat he can't get on top of any of the hens to do his dirty work. Um, otherwise, he's a good boy. And closing the line underneath and a sock. It's all good. I don't mind. Um, as long as there's no, there's no unmentionables shown, I'll get yelled at for that. Anyway, um, this roof has been the best thing we did here. Um, just to give us place to hang laundry and also Chris is about to put up I can show you well I won't be able to show you very good but between this tree and this post right here which is right beside it'll go from caddy corner here it's hard to show you here but um, it'll be on this side of the fogon or the fire area she's gonna put a hammock right here because the only Sun that this area gets is right now in the morning it's like 730 so this gets Sun from like 630 to 8 or so um, but then it's all around and you can have this underneath the rooftop um, and enjoy hey Mike, we can go say hi to Chris real quick she's cooking breakfast um, problem is if I open the door somebody's gonna come out you want to say hi? hi I'm just recording a video for marginal boundaries anyway Chris is cooking breakfast I have to be careful to make sure none of the cats sneak out because they've already had their morning time and then they go back inside for the day and we bring them out occasionally when we can supervise them but I've been out finishing my coffee and reading up on my Kindle I'm working on Dune Messiah um, so I'm not sure what's going on we've had we've had power outages the last two nights and it hasn't rained the last two nights it's just been something with the local too much power coming from the transformer or something but because the breaker out at one of the main junction boxes has gone out last night and the night before. Last night it went out at 11 o'clock and we're still at 7.30 in the morning and I still have no power. Or 8.30. Hang on. I don't even know what time it is right now. It's 8.30 in the morning. Sorry. It's 8.30 in the morning. Um, yesterday 
the power went out at two two o'clock in the morning and they came back on about 11 a.m last night it went out at 11 p.m um we'll see what time it comes back on today but the interesting thing about that was um the first night it went out at like two in the morning and i don't think anybody realized it because the next morning chris called the power company and was like hey we got and they're like no one's reported an outage and it was like 9 30 in the morning by that point and it was like what do you mean no one's reported an outage so the area that's out is just our like it's two, it's like a two block radius so like two square blocks um and there's like two church buildings where nobody lives and most of the other people who live here they definitely don't work online and they don't work from home and so for them, they go to bed at 2 o'clock in the morning. They're getting up at 9, 8, 9, getting ready for work and everything, just then realizing, and no one ever... Sometimes people are... They don't report things. Um, and the reason is because a lot of people don't pay their electric bill, and so they don't bother reporting, because if they report, the power company won't do anything because you haven't paid your electric bill. Um, so it, it's, it's based... It's dependent upon the people who pay their power bills, like us, to call and make the reports. Um, so we, we called and made the report yesterday morning last night when it went out at 11 um, Chris checked her phone she's got a whatsapp group that she's in, a member of for the neighborhood um, and someone had already reported it at 11 o'clock last night so somebody was probably still awake and was sitting in their air conditioning getting ready to go to sleep and the power went out so um, it's uh, it's really weird because last year we didn't have a single power outage last year um, other than one that was planned, the power company um, shut everybody down along the river, like six cities, um, to work on upgrading some tech and some hardware. And um, this year, during the hot season, because it's hot, it's warm right now, but it's not like hot. It's like 95, 90, 95. It's still warm at night. It's not. It's not comfortable when the electricity goes out and you're trying to sleep at night because you're in a sweat. Um, when the when it does stuff like that. Anyway. Um, we haven't had we didn't have any power outages last year and this year we've had 8 or 10 they've all you know most of them have been short 10-15 minutes and then now suddenly we've had two nights in a row where it's been out all night and 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 you know the worst part is just it's hot you know that's the uncomfortable part but on the, the other side is I work online so it's like when there's no internet and the plus side I'm getting a lot of reading reading done this morning Anyway, that's the homestead update today. Um, I don't think we're building anything new this year since the, you know we did that at the beginning of the year. Um, I don't think we're going to build anything new yet. You know, we were talking about building a patio over there, but now we're debating just buying like a like a blackstone or something, just getting like a grill and a griddle. Because I don't know that I want to go to all the effort just to have it. And we have plenty of space for outdoor kitchen stuff. I just don't know that I want to go to the effort of building all that. We'll see. We still need to do the columns here, but I'm just going to pay somebody to do that. Um, I don't think we're going to do the concrete ourselves because we don't have the boards or the forms to actually do the pillars. And the cost of material and everything else, I could just pay someone the same, if not less, to just pour those concrete pillars. Somebody who actually works in concrete. We might insulate the office this year. That's something that no house has done here. They don't insulate, so it's all just block, which makes it very inefficient to cool your house. Anyway, that's the update. We'll come at you again soon with something else. See ya.